Action SA is launching its first party elections manifesto with an aim to fix uh, South Africa and place it on a path to economic prosperity. The party is led by former Johannesburg Mayor Herman Mashab. The party aims to vote out the ANC. Samkele Maseko is on standby to give us more details on this. You've been on the story since this morning. Just give us a sense of what's been happening since. Well, at this point in time, Desiree, uh, members of and supporters of Action SA are trickling in here at uh, the city of Johannesburg, just opposite the Bree Taxi rank, where the leader of uh, Action SA, uh, Herman Mashaba, who's the former executive mayor, you can see them. They are gathering in their numbers and trickling in, where they will be launching their elections manifesto for the local government elections, where Herman Mashaba seeks uh, to unseat the governing African National Congress through a coalition here in the city of Johannesburg and other metros in the country, particularly the city of Twane, the city of Ekuruledi and Durban uh, Metropolitan Municipality with uh, Dr. Makosi Koza, a former ANC spokesperson in that province, former PEC member, former member of parliament of the ANC and former chairperson of one of uh, the portfolio committees of public administration who has uh, deflected from the party that she formed, which was Ahang SA and uh, which, uh, not Ahang, ADEC uh, rather, and essentially moved on to uh, join Action SA of uh, Herman Mashaba. I'm going to bring in uh, John Moody, who's the former provincial leader of the Democratic Alliance and also now a member of Action SA. Mr. Moody, this is your first election as Action SA. Where are those votes going to come from? Well, our target is, of course, those people who have become disillusioned uh, over the past, had not registered or just did not come out to vote. That is our primary target. But I can tell you here and now that as we are hitting the ground campaigning, over the past couple of months already. What we have found is that there are many people who have become disillusioned with political parties overall that they had supported in 2016, 2019, 2020, uh, 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 um, now 2021. They are looking for new political homes. So we'll be getting people from the ANC, we'll be getting people from the EFF, IFP as well as from the DA. Uh, people have just come, become completely disillusioned with those political parties. You raise a very uh, point that I want to pick on, the Democratic Alliance. You've been a provincial leader of the DA in the province. How can voters now trust you after having served two terms as DA leader in the province? Trust you when to say now, vote Action SA and don't vote Democratic Alliance. What's the difference between the two? Sam, I wasn't just the leader of the DA for two terms. I was a leader of the DA for 18 years in, the, in, 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 uh, in, in Gauteng. And I'm presently the Action SA provincial chairperson in Gauteng. Here's it. I think my track record speaks for itself. I'm a man who is here to serve the people of South Africa, and more specifically the people of Johannesburg and Gauteng. I've never seeked higher office. I've never stood under the DA for a mayoral position or for a premier's position, even though it, has, it was mine to call for to do so. To me, it is about mobilizing on the ground, ensuring that our people have a better and viable alternative for us to build one South Africa for all, an inclusive South Africa. And quite frankly, my reason for leaving the DA is very clear. I could never uh, subscribe to a party that has gone back to the old party system of looking after the interests of a section of the community and society. I cannot be a nationalist in any regard or, or uh, seek to support one particular race group or grouping because my own family is such that mine is a rainbow nation. My mom was an African woman, my dad an Indian. I've got cousins, I've got brothers, I've got nephews that are married to white, Indian, colored and black people. So my entire uh, family is the South African society. So here's it. People know my track record. They know that what I say is what, my, what, what, what I do. And similarly, that is why I can find my a political home in, 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 in Action SA. Because Herman Mashaba is a man of integrity. He is a man that talks about ethical leadership and he shows it by his actions, it's not just by his words. And hence, I'm saying to the people of South Africa, and more specifically the people of Johannesburg, Ikurleni, as well as, as Twane, and Itukweni. Here's it. You have the opportunity to, to shape the future of South Africa. Because for too long we've been sitting on the sideline and, and just blaming uh, others, as well as just criticizing. Here's your opportunity to make a change in your life. Take control and vote Action SA. Support us because ours is not just a political party, ours is a movement for change. Mr. Moody, you're faced with a scenario where you have to choose a coalition partner. 
in the city of Johannesburg and other metros. Who do you choose? The African National Congress or the Democratic Alliance, which you say serves a tiny minority within the country? I'm going to put it to you very clearly, as Ramon has always put it to you. We were going to coalition with any other political party except for the ANC, because they are the corruption that has brought us and our country to where, we, to where it is. And we can never be associated with a failed uh, political organization that has failed South Africa and is in, the, in, is in this array at this moment in time, and people who put the party first instead of putting South Africa first. So we will go into coalition at the local government uh, level with any other political party who feels the same as we do about building South Africa and, and starting off at municipal level for us to be able to achieve the objective of in 2024 and seating the ANC. Even working with the party which you refer to as the one that serves a tiny minority and not the vast majority of the country. Even with the phrase Front Plus and the DA, the thing is that we need to put South Africa first and, if the, the, and we know for a fact too that anybody who is the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And that is exactly what we will, we will be subscribing to. Thank you very much, Mr. John Moody. That was Mr. John Moody there, who is the provincial leader of Action SA in Gauteng. He's been a leader of the Democratic Alliance in Gauteng for 18 years. He deflected with Herman Mashaba to form Action SA. They failed to emerge with the then leader of the Democratic Alliance who left Musi, Mr. Musi Maiman. I'm going to bring in Bongi Fuzile, who is a former... MMC of uh, finance in the city of Kurulen, who's also a former DA councillor. You here at uh, the Manifesto Lodge of Action SA, there are much needed votes for Action SA, your first election. Yeah. Are you bringing your ward as a ward councillor this time around for Action SA or not? Uh, unfortunately, I'm not a, a candidate to be a ward councillor, but uh, I'm a candidate to be a PR, uh, Sam Kelo. And uh, we are working, we are working uh, very hard here in Johannesburg, in Swane and in Ekuruleni. Uh, to bring the needed votes, um, and we think that uh, it's possible. Um, uh, we think that it's possible, and we think that it can be done. You know, um, we have been on the ground um, for the longest time, when other parties were still trying to get the elections to be postponed. We have been working extremely hard. So we think that the people of South Africa are ready, and um, and uh, come the first of November, we'll see change. But will you be bringing the word where you reside? As a PR councillor, yes, you may not be a ward councillor, yeah. but that ward where you reside will yeah. also be important in trying to win the municipality. Are you sure that where you reside, those all important votes, that entire ward will be governed by Action SA? Look, I, I can't say that, but um, I can tell you that we're going to bring a number of votes from that ward. I'm in Ward 83 in Rodiport. My candidate is Marcel there. Is, uh, is, a, is, a, is, a, is an activist, is someone that has actually walked the ground and the people trust him and will be campaigning you know, with him to make sure that we get all the necessary votes that are available to us. Um, the, the vote is currently under the, the DA and there's other p parties as well that have been quite strong there including the Freedom Front but we are going to work very hard to get the number of votes that are actually available to Action SA to bring them to us. So essentially you want to eat away and erode the base of the DA in the suburbs? Every vote counts and, um, and people of South Africa are aware that, you know what, the Action SA is the only alternative available to deal with the, 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 the pandemic, which is the ANC. And they are giving all the, putting all their hopes on us, so we can't disappoint them. We'll be out there to make sure that we, you know, we give them what they want. And, uh, and their role is, is simple, they must come out on the 1st of November and vote. Thank you very much, Mr. Funzela. That was a former DA and now Action SA leader. As you can see, the visuals where my colleague Kwasi Manzi will show you now of uh, the leader, the president of Action SA, the former executive mayor of the city of uh, Johannesburg, Herman Mashaba, going on stage. He's flanked by his two bodyguards there. Who would have thought Herman Mashaba, outside of uh, governance, still with uh, bodyguards? He is alongside John Moody there on the stage as they will be launching their first elections manifesto so, for the 2021 local government elections. Samkele, uh, it seems like uh, the program is about to start officially. Is that the case?
the program is essentially about to start now as you can see the various leaders are on stage now we are still waiting for Abel Dao who is the mayoral candidate for the city of Tswane to also arrive here he has been campaigning for Action SA particularly within the township base uh, eating away from that uh, support base where the Democratic Alliance was growing tremendously under the leadership of former leader Musimai Mane, where they were granted an opportunity uh, to govern the city of Tuane, city of uh, Johannesburg, through a coalition. So we are waiting for his arrival as well. But uh, the fact the program has essentially started now, Jesri. South Africa, that we are kicking off. You know that we've always been campaigning, but now this is the official election campaign. My name is Lerato Ngobeni. I'm your national spokesperson. Thank you so much for having us. Our program is not going to be very long. I would like All right, to bring we'll come up back to our, this event as soon as uh, uh, it earnestly gets underway. To this now, local government elections will take place.